Hello, Little Creek Broncos. It's Mrs. Dundor. I'm back in the music room and I'm here with another video for you this week. And this time, we're gonna talk a little bit about scales. In music, a scale is not the thing that you step on to see how much you weigh. Kind of like in PE, it's not like that. In music, a scale's not really scaling a mountain. Well, actually, it kind of is like that. Let me show you what I mean. In music, a scale is eight different notes that go in order. Sometimes the eight notes of a scale go from low to high, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or a scale can go from high to low, like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sometimes you can sing a scale with something called solfege, which sounds like this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. So a scale is eight different notes that go in order from low to high or from high to low. This week we're going to hear a song that has a scale in it. Let me sing the song for you now. Listen to the song Chumbara. Chumbara, 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 Cha 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 Chumbara, 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 Cha Cha Cha. Chumbara, 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 Chumbara. We're going to listen to it again, but this time I want you to listen and see where you can hear a scale. So remember, a scale is eight different pitches. Eight different pitches, and they're in order, and they're either going to be going up or going down from high to low. When you think you hear the scale, we'll go through it twice. When you think you hear a scale, raise your hand. I know I can't see you. Just do it anyway. Here we go. Listen for the scale. Chumbara, chumbara, chumbara. This time, I'll raise my hand when the scale happens. So did you raise your hand at the right time? Did you notice the scale in Chumbara is moving from high to low? It went cha, 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 cha. Can you point to the screen? Don't touch the screen. Ms. Rochelle would not be happy. Point to the screen where you see the scale, the music notes of the scale going from high to low. Can you point to where it happens in the song? If you're pointing right here where my mouse is, and it ends on this last note here. Cha, 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 cha. That's right. That's where the scale is. All right. Now, do you know what the word chumbara means? I didn't think so. It's not a real word, so it means nothing. Do you know, though, how many syllables the word chumbara is? How many syllables? Chumbara. Three syllables. So since chumbara is a nonsense word, we could easily make up our own three-syllable nonsense word instead of singing chumbara. Here, come with me. All right. Here we are with our 
Silly syllable bags number one, two, and three. Inside each bag are a bunch of different weird, random, nonsense syllables. Normally, if we were in class and we could sing all together in the music room, we would be taking turns picking syllables out of the bags to make new words. But I'll just go ahead and do it instead for right now and we'll see what interesting nonsense word we can come up with. So, our first syllable, I'm not peeking, I did not pick these ahead of time. Our first syllable is yap. Hmm. Okay, yap. Our second silly syllable is uh. Uh. Yap, uh, yap a what? Yap a something. Yappa tappa doo. Z. Hmm. Our word will be yappa z. Yappa z. Let's see how it sounds. Yappa z, yappa z, yappa z, yappa z, yappa z. Okay, that's quite enough. All right, let's do one more, but we don't want to have yap or uh or z, so we'll just get rid of those. Next, zip. O, zip o loo, zip o loo. Here we go. See if you can sing along with zip o loo this time. And if somebody walks in and says, "What in the world are you doing?" Just say, "My homework." And start at the beginning, Mrs. Dundor. I said, "Start at the beginning." Here we go. Ready? Stop. Okay. Well, you know, that was pretty fun for me, but that's because I was here and I got to pick the syllables. So instead, this time, I'm going to show you how you can create your own random three-syllable nonsense word to sing the song with. Here we are at the randomizer. Now, you're going to be able to find this website, this exact page, by clicking on the link that I shared in the directions with this video. So after you're done with the video, you're going to go to the next step in the directions on Teams, and you'll be able to click the link to go to this site. Once you're here, see how it says bag one, bag two, and bag three. But instead of reaching into a bag, we are going to click the spinner at the side. If I click the spinner at the side, here's what happens. All three bags scramble, and at the top, it shows you that your word is zapamai. Zapami, or maybe you would say zapami. If you want to scramble one bag at a time, you can click the arrows underneath each bag, and then you'll be able to do one at a time. So maybe if you really don't like one of your syllables, you could change it until you have a, a nonsense word that you really like. Yapafu. Then all that's left to do is to sing the song with your new word. You're not going to sing it for me, not going to sing it for anyone besides yourself. If you don't remember how the song goes, just go back and rewatch the video. Don't worry, it's pretty catchy. I think it will get stuck in your head pretty easily. And once you've sung the song with your own syllable, such as yapafu, 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 then all you have to do is go into Teams and type this word, your nonsense word that you came up with on this website and sang the song with, like mine is Yapafu, type it into Teams. Tell us what it is.
then I know that you've done your video, you've gone to the website, and you've sung your song with your random nonsense word. And that is all for this week. And thank you for tuning in. Bye.